This is going to be the first of four videos looking at how to do analysis on the assembly line data from your production runs. In this video, we're going to be taking the raw data from your production run and cleaning that data so that we can do analysis on it. So you're going to download your file from assembly line file from Polylearn. It should look something like this. You're going to have four columns. The first one is your barcode input. That's exactly what the scanner is reading on the barcodes. The second two columns are going to parse uh, the barcode input into part number and workstation number, and then the timestamp will be automatically applied um, for the time when you scan the specific barcode. So before we start cleaning the data, we're going to have to copy uh, change the format of this part row. We're going to copy all the data in there, and we're going to copy and paste this as values. So copy paste special as values. You'll probably have this error box come up. Um, so if you do have that, click convert to number. If not, you'll have to manually change the, the cell format to number so that we could sort it properly. Now that we have that done, let's select all this data. We're going to copy that and put it into a new sheet. And with this data, we're going to make it into a table. This table already has headers. And now we're able to sort uh, through this data and filter it. We'll call this new sheet clean data. So to clean this data, we're going to filter by part number. So let's start with part number one. Now you can see with part number one, there's going to be two scans at workstation one. One of those is before the operator starts working. Uh, and the second scan is after the operator completes their part. So it makes sense. There should be two scans for each workstation. And it looks good for workstation two, three, four, and five as well. So let's go on to part two. Again here, there's two scans uh, for bridge station one, two, three, four, and five. So let's look at uh, part four, since I know there's a little issue with that one. Here there's only one scan for workstation one. That means the operator forgot to scan the part either before they started working on it or after they completed it. Um, we're not really able to tell and we're not able to extract any information from just a single data point here. So we're going to go ahead and delete this row. I'll put workstation two, three, four, and five look good. Uh, when you're doing this, when you're cleaning your own assembly line data, you're going to want to go through all of the part numbers uh, to make sure. Um, we'll jump around since I know there's issues with a couple specific data points. So let's look at part 12. Uh, here there's three scans for workstation one. Uh, two of them have the same exact timestamp, meaning the operator uh, inadvertently scanned the barcode twice when they were uh, scanning it. So we don't need this. This is a redundant data point. We're going to delete one of them. And then again for workstation two, uh, there's only one scan, so we're going to go ahead and delete that point as well. Okay, so just to reiterate what we're doing in this video, you're going to filter through all the part numbers, make sure there's two scans for every workstation. Um, and after that, you'll have clean data. And that's just the reality of having real world data. There's going to be some issues with data collection, um, but it's important to be able to clean that data and get it ready to do some real analysis on.